According to a Gallup poll, only 48% of American parents are completely or somewhat satisfied with the quality of K-12 education their children are getting. Educator and entrepreneur Sal Khan is working to bring free education to the world. He's the founder of Khan Academy, a nonprofit organization that offers free educational content online in instructional videos on topics like math, biology, and grammar that help students develop their skills and provide teachers with tools. Khan Academy's online platform has 64 million registered users in 190 countries. Last year alone, it benefited some 140,000 teachers worldwide. Sal Khan, good morning. Morning. So, Khan Academy is announcing something called Mastery Learning. What is that and how can I get some? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, it's, it's, a, it's an old idea. It's arguably the first way that people learned that, hey, if you need to learn something, uh, if you're having trouble with it, keep working on it until you master it and then you go to a more advanced concept. But in the education systems that all of us grew up in, we all learned at the fixed pace. And if you talk to most teachers, say they're a seventh grade teacher, they'll see that some of their kids are operating at a fourth grade level and some are operating at an eighth grade level, but the teacher has to teach to the middle and leaving some behind and, and leaving some bored. And so the idea of mastery learning is just that, no, let's allow every student to learn at the right level. And that if they're having trouble with something, fill in those, those gaps. It's just until now, it, it was hard to do logistically. How does one teacher with 30 students meet the needs of every student? And that's where we try to come in. Give an example of mastery mastery learning, um, like in a subject or something. It, like yeah, and it could be in anything. It, 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 mastery learning in math, if you are having trouble with negative exponents, or say negative numbers, and uh, you, get, you take a test in the current system, you get a C on that test, you didn't know 20% of the material, then the class will go on to the next concept where they might use negative numbers in, in, a, in a formula of some kind. You're like, well, how am I supposed to learn that if I didn't learn the, the previous concept well? In mastery learning, if the first time you got an 80%, well, learn it a little bit better and Good. keep going for it. It's the way you would learn a musical instrument or a, yeah. or, or a sport or whatever else. And by contrast, if you're alive for math and you love it, then you can go work on your own and, and outpace the class if this is something that really fascinates you. Has there been a situation where you've gotten some feedback? This has actually worked in practice. Yeah, well, there's actually decades of research, well before Khan Academy came on scene, that it works. Uh, Benjamin Bloom, famous with his Two Sigma study, where if someone learns in a mastery framework, the kid who was average ends up being in the 80th or 90th percentile. It's just there's no practical way of doing it. Now that we've been out there, you know, we have a, 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 a school district in Philadelphia recently saw that when students spend one week one class period per week doing mastery learning, they saw 30% more gain than expected, mm -hmm. uh, which is a big number. I mean, for one, one class, I think it was 30 minutes a week uh, they were doing it. And it's common sense, because these kids were being, you know, they were kind of being moved ahead with, while having gaps in some more fundamental things. You know, a lot of times when kids have trouble with algebra or trigonometry, it has nothing to do with the subject matter, has nothing to do with their, you know, innate intelligence. It's just that they had some gaps in elementary school that they never got to fill in. Really? I wish I would have known that when I was in Mr. Forgetti's class, because I did not do well in algebra, <laughs> and it was a problem. But let's talk it's about... It's never too late. It's never yeah, late. There's a site for this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Sal. Let's talk about the, the uh, Khan Lab School in California that goes all year around with short summer breaks. Have you found that there's an advantage in the summer? It, it, have you found that it's an advantage for kids to have a shorter school summer, to have a shorter summer? Yeah, so you know, there's Khan Academy, and then we started the separate school to really understand, well, now that all this technology exists, how can we change what a school's all about? How can we make it more human? So in, in, in the lab school we have, which is literally underneath our offices, mm -hmm. uh, the, the teachers are helping students through mastery learning, and as you mentioned, it's full day, full year. Yeah, yeah. And what that does, is it just creates more time and space for learning. You know, there's well-documented this notion of a summer slide where over summer, not only do kids not learn for three months, but they tend to forget the previous three months of school. So it's really you having to make up for six months. Yeah. Uh, so so you 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 make up for that fact. You know, even if you look at PISA rankings of you know the U.S. versus other countries, mm -hmm. a lot of it actually can be accounted for just by the, the the number of school days. And we should say you're still a nonprofit organization. I remember when you started this years ago to help your little cousin. And you're still a nonprofit after all this time. Oh, yeah, no, we're a nonprofit. As I always clear, you know, I don't own Khan Academy. I own as much of it as you do. And, uh, and we're, we're supported by, uh, you know, hundreds of thousands of people donating money. Well, well, congratulations on doing another thing that helps us with master learning. That could help with the summer slide. Master <laughs> yeah, learning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>